trust me, I've gone through multiple cutting and bulking cycles and I've made all the mistakes along the way. And dropping your carbs to zero is a one way ticket to never stick into your diet in the long term. So as well as building weight and physique, I have helped hundreds of clients get in shape too. So if you are looking to get a lean aesthetic physique, stick around to later in the video because I'll be breaking down the exact steps you need to take and the approach to avoid. So we've all been there looking at dieting and then finding these things like keto and carnivore online, which is a very dogmatic approach, an aggressive approach to dieting where we basically have zero carbs. Why does this work? Well, it means that you're naturally gonna consume less calories and you are gonna to go to a calorie deficit, which means burning more calories than you are consuming in order to lose body fat. The problem with these approaches is, although in the short term you lose weight and you'll see a rapid drop in scale weight, a lot of that is gonna be water weight because you've dropped your carbs so low. And we need water in order to store carbs in our muscle cells. So in the first few days of a really low carb diet, you're gonna see the scale weight drop rapidly. You, you think you've lost a few kilos of body fat. Yay, you know, get the bunting out, everyone's celebrating, but you're not gonna be able to maintain it and you're gonna to start to resent your diet because you've just cut out all your favorite foods and you're gonna to start to hate your life within a few weeks. I'll be very impressed if you stick to that for more than two or three weeks because I know I can, I would just miss pizza too much and miss all these fun foods that I enjoy. It is a key thing to remember, we want fat loss, not weight loss. There is a big difference. If you rapidly lose weight and you're not prioritizing weight training, you lose muscle and fat, and you end up looking skinny, and you don't get to that lean aesthetic physique that you're picturing. If we go for a slower approach to overall weight loss, but you lose mostly body fat and you keep your muscle, that's where you end up looking lean and aesthetic and good on the beach, essentially. So that is what we want, rather than rapid weight loss. Big mindset shift that helped me when it came to food was my last photo shoot prep. So in September 2022, which is about 18 months ago at the time of recording, I did my first ever photo shoot and I got very lean. Now I can tell you the last couple of weeks were a depressing existence and I was missing pizza and all these foods too much that I enjoyed and I felt like I had to cut out too much at this point. I don't think it's personally worth it at this stage. When you're getting down past about 12% body fat as a male, this is sufficient to look lean, aesthetic, but not have to cut out too much of the foods you enjoy and sacrifice too much. What I learned in this period of, a, of the harder parts of dieting was one, I built resilience and proved to myself that I could do it. But most importantly, I flipped my mindset when it came to food and I started viewing it more as fuel. So carbs are a way to fuel your gym performance and having carbs is a good thing. You need to be made, keeping your carbs as high as you can, even in a cutting phase and maximizing those carbs around your training. So for example, having a bit of fruit or easy to digest carbs before you do your workout, using caffeine where you need to, to maintain your training performance. The more that you do this and flip your mindset around carbs as fueling your gym training, the better you're gonna perform in the gym, the more strength you're gonna retain, and therefore the more muscle you are gonna keep on every cut, which then means in the long term, over years to come, each time you bulk up and cut down, you're gonna keep most of your muscle, and this means by going up, pushing back down, like that, imagine a little step graph, eventually you get towards your end physique quicker by doing this approach. Whereas, if you go too aggressive on your cutting phases and you just drop your carbs to zero, you're gonna waste time because you're just gonna lose some of the muscle. Here is the approach to take instead. Now, of course, there's no getting away from the fact that if you are looking to lose body fat, you have to create a calorie deficit and you are going to be tired at points and it's normal. You are gonna be fatigued and it's gonna be tough and you, there is no way of getting around the fact that you are gonna to have to reduce your carb and fat portions, focus on pro, high protein diet, and do all of these things, but you don't have to make it utterly miserable for yourself and go to zero carbs. What to do instead? Accept a slightly slower rate of overall weight loss and focus more on lifting performance in the gym. So maintaining the strength in your workouts, even if you go down to one or two sets on each exercise rather than three, as long as you're pushing the same weights as you were at the start of your cut, as your body weight comes down, you should keep most of your muscle. Prioritize protein at one gram per pound of your body weight or 2.2 grams per kilo of your body weight per day for our metric friends. Hopefully that satisfies all the Americans and Europeans watching this. And it's important to have a lot of protein in order to keep that muscle mass during a cutting phase. So if your protein is too low, 
and you go into a deficit, you're more at risk of losing muscle. If we're keeping our protein high, then the deficit is created by reducing your carb and fat portion steadily. And then the other side of the equation is your activity level. So I'd recommend a combination of both lowering carbs and fats, keeping protein high, and then activity levels, bringing up steps, increasing your cardio. That is gonna help you shift into a calorie deficit, but you need to do probably a combination of both. And it's important to have a function of heart and actually do some cardio right. So as long as you are maintaining your weight in the gym during your cut, you are having sufficient protein, you're trying to sleep properly, more than Margaret Thatcher used to do. So don't, don't do the no sleep for winners approach. Didn't end well for poor Margaret, rest her soul. So it's important to be having seven to nine hours of sleep per night. Some people are gonna need more than others, but make sure you are consistent with your sleep pattern. So sleep sufficiently, get enough protein in, train hard in the gym, and you will therefore keep your most of your muscle mass look lean and aesthetic and get to the physique that you want and i promise you that you'll be more likely to retain this physique in the longer term rather than doing these aggressive terrible diets i hope you found these realistic tips useful and if you're new to the channel make sure you hit subscribe because if you don't hit subscribe you're not going to get that shape you want and i'll give you tips every single week to get to your dream physique quicker. So it'd be a no brainer. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, like the video, and I'll see you on the next one, my friends. See you later.